How are we going, everybody? I left it a bit late today to do a little segment for you. We're getting a bit dark here, but anyway, I'm going to show you these standard roses. It's about time to prune them back. These have dropped all their leaves. You can see we've got the rose hips developing on top there. You can let them go if you want and make rose hip tea and all the wonderful, delicious flavours and teas you can drink with that as well. But if you're not going to do that, it's time to cut them back. There's not a single leaf. Perfect time to do it now because they're, they're a dormant stage. Some of them have actually still got some flowers on it, funny enough. But these ones here, as we're looking at, don't have. Now, what we do, and what I do is normally get the chainsaw out and hit them really hard with it. Well, I'm talking about a head trim and it just goes straight over the top. You see all the old growth here? That's at least two years old, that growth, and older. Now, I'm going to cut all this back to just above it. That's where I want it. I've seen them cut really high sometimes. That's not short enough. They end up stretching out too far. You want to cut them just above there. A couple of buds from the old one. If I can show you one, and mind the lighting on it. See, now we've got a bud there. That's the old growth there. We've got a bud under here. There's a bud back in there. And there's also a bud just here. Now, we can cut to that one there if we like. On a slight angle, it's close to, to the bud itself. Thin out the centre. So all this stuff in the middle has to come out. And that's what I'm going to do. Cut it all out, and at the end, I'm going to be left with the old wood and a couple of short stubs on the end of everything facing outwards. You can be really pedantic about it, folks, meaning you can take your time and pick the exact bud and everything, but I've also taken to them with a hedge trimmer. If you've got a lot of roses like I have here, over 50, 60 of them, hit them with a hedge trimmer and then go back in there and clean them up with a clean pair of secateurs, anvil pruners, use your metho on it to keep it sterilised and clean and only spray between one plant and the other. It's not every prune you do. That way you keep the plant safe. Now, black spot uh, dieback can occur, canker can occur as well. You can spray them if you like, but you know what I reckon? If you feed the ground well, you get the soil activated with lots of organic matter and, and, and the microbes are living there, the plants will be fine. They will need very little spraying to be done. If you do cop that problem, Bluestone Disease Control Pack is available. You could also use lime sulfur as a spray. Either of those two can be applied once in winter and then in early spring reapply them if you need to. Otherwise, add organic matter to the base. Now, uh, easy hand spray is the easiest way to do it, folks. And by the way, they should be landing. Today is the 11th, so we've given you up to the 11th to be able to order. We've only got about 300 left at the discounted price, so we're just going to run them through. In the next couple of days, once they're sold, that's over. At the end of the discount, they go up to full price. Check it all out at VasilisGarden.com. Prune all your roses, prune all your fruit trees if you haven't done so, and prepare to feed them all as well. From Eva Silly, Maresi.